Pat's Run makes a triumphant return this weekend, and you are invited to join the thousands of athletes from across the country in support of the 20th anniversary of the race, which supports the Tillman Foundation. And if you've never heard of Pat Tillman, well, listen up. He was a tremendous football player and all academic at Arizona State University before getting drafted by the Arizona Cardinals, who left professional football and then joined the military after the 9-11 terror attacks. He walked away from the comfortable life of a pro athlete to serve our country and after two years of enlisting in 2004 he was tragically killed in action while in Afghanistan. Well after that his family started the Pat Tillman Foundation to not only carry forward his legacy but honor his memory and joining me to talk about that is Dr. Benjamin Welsh, a 2019 scholar um, with a very impactful story tied to all of this. Dr. Welsh thank you so much for joining us. Of course thanks for having me. So uh, before we get into this run and why it matters so much to not only the Tillman Foundation and the Tillman family, but it has grown to mean so much to athletes who participate in this race year after year, I want to talk about your personal journey. You yourself are giving back to the community through medicine um, and your uh, educational pursuits in the medical field. Um, you also have a, an inspiring story of your own that, that has dr driven you to work with this foundation. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, not sure exactly where to start, but certainly the military probably makes sense. You know, similar motivation to Pat um, was kind of inspired to, to join the military after 9-11 and uh, I guess left high school early um, so that I could enlist in the Marine Corps and initially served in the infantry as a rifleman and scout sniper. Um, got into a program where they sent me to college and uh, you know, stayed on active duty, went to Purdue University, got a degree, and uh, then became a logistics officer, served for another almost six years there. So, you know, just shy of 14 years in the Marines. Um, but, yeah, I guess the personal aspect of the story was uh, coming back off a of deployment in... 2014, found my uh, ex-wife was was having some issues with uh, substance abuse. So uh, that was kind of the catalyst for me leaving the military and trying to figure out what I wanted to be when I grew up. Um, you know, spent a couple of years with her trying to get help from the medical system and um, certainly saw an opportunity to help folks and you know the Pat Tillman Foundation has been a, a huge asset giving me the resources to go to medical school and now while I'm finishing up a residency working towards getting board certified as a psychiatrist so you know going from a place where desperately want to help somebody and not having the tools to do it um, to where we are today, you know, getting up every day and getting the opportunity to help change people's lives has uh, really been quite a journey. Yeah, certainly. And for you to be able to overcome so much and now you're in this position where you yourself are going to change so many lives, if not already have changed so many lives. Uh, as a 2019 Tillman Scholar, talk to me a little bit about what that recognition and that moment meant for you. I know it's been a few years, but that has clearly had a lasting impact for you. Yeah, I mean, so the actual scholarship aspect of the foundation is certainly where it all starts, right? So you take either active duty, veterans, um, spouses, and Again, giving them the tools through education and scholarship. Um, certainly being a part of this community has so many benefits beyond the, the scholarship dollars, right? I mean, I don't want to minimize that aspect of it, but, but really being able to interact with such high caliber individuals and, you know, they kind of provide the motivation along the way, whether that's finishing school or then once you have the degree like making that impact and 
and serving and giving back, you know, um, I really think that's where the, the foundation does a great job of developing and encouraging um, all of us. A humbling and, and immersive community, I imagine. Right. right. Um, you know, we, we talk about the this foundation and the Pat Tillman 20th anniversary race, 20 years that people uh, from different backgrounds from experiences like yours have been able to come together and just be in, in this moment together and now to, to celebrate the 20th anniversary and to honor Pat Tillman for the 20th year through this race coming up on April 13th. Uh, I know you'll be involved in that. For those watching this, maybe hearing about the foundation and this race for the first time that want to get involved, uh, any way that they can connect with the Pat Tillman Foundation online? Certainly. I mean, I think their website is probably the the place to go for the most comprehensive list of resources. They're involved in a number of social media platforms and uh, you know if you're in the local area and, and want to get involved or want to help in any way coming out to the race is a great place to start meeting the local folks that have been supporting this like you said for 20 years now. Um, it's kind of unbelievable. And I did just, uh, for the viewers right now, throw up the website, as well as all of the information. If you wanted to participate in this race, including registration fees, uh, a kid's run that they have, and the times that you'll need to know about. And I know for some people, they want to get involved in this, uh, but don't have the uh, physical capability or the time in their schedule. There is a virtual run that is open now through April 12th, and you can go to pattillmanfoundation.org slash pats run to learn more about that. Uh, Dr. Welsh, an extraordinary thing to be able to talk to somebody like you and, and hear of your journey and now your continued impact, not just for the community, but really for the medical field. Any final thoughts uh, ahead of this tremendous race that we're going to be able to hopefully participate and witness? You know, I think really just closing with uh, a reminder of uh, the sacrifice that Pat chose to make, you know. It's hands down the most inspirational story that I'm aware of during my lifetime. And, you know, we might not all have the opportunity to walk away from a multi-million dollar NFL contract and, and go serve our nation, but there's little things we can all do to make the world a better place and to impact our community. And I think, you know, that is the kind of goal of the foundation, you know, to be able to make that matter, right? So his sacrifice was tremendous, but we can kind of develop and share his legacy and uh, really make an impact. And you know. That is beautifully said. Thank you so much for joining us here on Atlanta News First Plus. Uh, thank you to the viewers. Again, if you want to learn more about the Pat Tillman Foundation and Pat's run, the 20th anniversary is April 13th. We hope you'll be able to make it out.